This is GenSpark AI, a step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners. GenSpark is trying to be the one super agent that you can use to do everything you need, including generating PowerPoints, analyzing data from the internet, downloading files for you, an AI chat similar to ChatGPT. Its AI agent can even make phone calls on your behalf, and it can generate images and videos as well. I personally think of it as a lightweight version of Manus. I don't think it excels in super technical tasks but for almost everything else, I really like where GenSpark is going. So in this video, I'm going to show you basically how to use it, different things you can do with it. Hopefully this will give you a sense of whether it's worth it for you. The first thing we're going to do is make a PowerPoint presentation. So here, go to GenSpark.ai. You'll have to sign up with your email address go to home and you'll see a page like this. GenSpark automatically curates some of the top trending news. What we're going to do though is create an AI, so click this over here. Let's have GenSpark create a dense infographic PowerPoint with a step-by-step -step tutorial framework for beginners to learn ChatGPT. Okay, go ahead and press enter. And now you're going to see GenSpark thinking and it's going to take a couple minutes for it to do its thing. I already ran it earlier, so I'm just going to load up that version. You can see the, it's the exact same prompt here. And on the right hand side is a preview of the slides that it produced. ChatGPT beginner tutorial. Here's slide two. Let me actually expand this. If I click view and export on the right hand side, now you can see the full PowerPoint. And what's really neat about this is it's actually code. So you can easily edit like any of the text here. Okay. This is slide three prompt engineering basic bad prompt versus good prompt. If you're happy with this as is, you can publish it as PDF or PowerPoints, or you can publish it on the web so you can spin up lead magnets, for example, really quickly. Let's go back to the main screen. If you click code, you'll actually see the code that it produced. You'll see its thought process if you click thinking. And if you want to fact check the content, go ahead and click this, right? It's going to put this prompt down here, okay? Go ahead and press that. And here you can see the agent is creating a plan for what it's going to do, updating you step by step as it's going along fact checking. Found a bunch of outdated information, right? Like no internet access, ChatGPT 3.5, which is way old by now. Here's its recommended updates. And would you like me to update these specific errors? Yes, updates. And when it's done, you'll see the updated version here on the right hand side. And what's neat is since this is code, you can easily edit any of the text here. So click select select to edit. And let's say we want to just remove like one of these words for whatever reason, let's say main chat instead of main chat area. All you have to do is that to edit the text. And now let's go back to the other prompt that I was running. Here's the one I submitted earlier. And you can see it's actually still running. It's creating page five, it looks like. But on the right hand side, you can see the ones that completed. And this PowerPoint looks a bit different from our previous one. I actually kind of like the design a little bit better. So even though I ran the exact same prompts, it looked a little bit different. And I actually kind of like this design even better because it's more visual, less text. So prompting mastery framework, essential features and tools, common use cases and applications. You can imagine if you have a lot of existing content or training material already, this is a really neat way to repurpose all of that into presentations, lead magnets, and interactive resources for your audience and community. And this is pretty much done in, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes. Another pro tip here is that you can upload reference images so that it can reference like the style and layout. If you're looking for something specific, if you want to include specific branding or design elements, you can do that here. Okay, use case number two, we're going to check out AI Sheets. Okay, we're going to use GenSpark Super Agent to do research on YouTube videos for us. Find 20 YouTube videos about AI automation and analyze metrics and comments. For example, if you're doing research on what kinds of YouTube videos you should make next, what's trending right now, this can be really, really useful. Again, you can see the GenSpark Agent thinking using this particular tool. Click View to see more. And real quick, by the way, if you have a lot of tasks, go ahead and click these two lines up here to see what tasks you were running and you can jump between them. Click this again to hide it. And if you want to collapse the sidebar so if you have a little more space, you can do that. And it's really neat to see the GenSpark super agent thinking. So here it says I've successfully gathered information from six AI automation YouTube videos and it's populating this table in real time with views, likes, the duration, number of comments, engagement rate, the description and tags and keywords. So really, really useful for research purposes. So it's found 10 total and I just paused it because I wanted to show some other features. For example, you can click visualize here. 
and it will generate a report based on this data. Whenever you are using it for research like this, I definitely recommend fact checking it at least once. But let's go ahead and generate the report. Although I actually had to stop this because it started researching automations again to get to 20. So I just reran it saying to use the existing data it has. And on the right hand side, you can see the Jupyter notebook where it is writing the Python code to visualize the data. And you can see some of the visualizations here, although it's going to keep going. A couple other things I'll point out that you can do. GenSpark includes image and video generation. So go to Image Studio. You can generate an image or convert an image to video. And what's really neat about this if you go to video generation is it has mixture of agents, which means it will automatically select the best AI model to use based on your prompt. So if you go ahead and click this, I'm just going to type here Sabrina Romanov hiking with her. Okay, something like this. Since I have enabled auto prompt, what it's doing is reflecting on what it is that I input it. And now it's generating four different variations. And it's actually using, I guess, four different models here, which I'm sure costs a lot of credits so be careful with that and here's three of the four models that it decided to use here's gemini vo2 here's luma labs and there's pixiverse not really a samoyed here and that doesn't look like me hiking um doesn't really look quite as like me either but i do have a jacket in that color but overall yeah really cool okay and obviously if you want more control you can turn off mixture of agents and choose the exact model you want to use and hopefully that should save some credits as well i'll point out a couple more things and then the last thing we'll do is create a website using GenSpark. So I really wanted to show you how this is trying to be the one super agent that can do a wide, wide, wide variety of tasks. Okay, so if you click AI chat on the left hand side, this is actually free until the end of the year, meaning it doesn't cost any credits to use this AI chat. And it's really neat, the mixture of agents thing over here as well. So it'll automatically select the model based on what your task is. And it has Claude 3.7 Sonic, it, Gemini, DeepSeek, and ChatGPT. Okay, now the last thing we'll do is create a website. So type in a prompt like this, recreate my website. I put in blotato.com and then hit enter. You can see it thinking here. First, it examines the current site to understand its structure, design, and content, captures a screenshot, the site features, and then it actually went ahead and tried to recreate the website. So you can actually click this, okay, to open it. And here's the website. So for those of you who don't know, this is the actual web. Okay, I'll scroll through this really quickly so you can get a sense of how it looks. Okay. And then here's the recreated website. So it has the same text. It's missing the videos, obviously, but testimonials. Let's expand this so we can see it a little bit better. What I said here, go viral faster. Okay, frequently asked questions. It even grabbed all of those. So this is pretty incredible because I'm currently paying a bunch of money for Webflow dot com and it recreated not all of it but a good chunk of it in just one prompt and here's the code as well so you can see exactly what it's doing now the one downside to this is there's no easy way to actually deploy it on your website's domain so when you click open a new window it'll have like a url like this but again this is really handy even for landing pages lead magnets that kind of thing you can spin them up very quickly and you just link to it. And if you wanna see all of the agents that GenSpark has available, just click all agents on the left-hand side. So today I didn't show you download for me, so which will basically have an AI agent download stuff from a website, like it can download videos from TikTok. Uh, deep research is similar to ChatGPT deep research. Call for me is actually an AI voice agent that makes phone calls on your behalf. For example, booking a table at a restaurant. I personally really like the direction that GenSpark is going. It's like a very accessible super agent that can do a wide variety of tasks. I personally still think there are much better tools to build fully functioning web app MVPs, but for simpler websites, landing pages, lead magnets, PowerPoint presentations, and things like that, you can see how far you can get with GenSpark all in one tool. And so far, it seems much more affordable than Manus. Even on the Manus paid subscription, you tend to run out of tokens after only a few tasks, whereas I've been playing around with GenSpark all morning and I'm on the lowest tier subscription plan, which I believe is around $25 or $30 per month. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, please hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.